Welcome to the special edition of PacWest Magazine from the campus of Fresno Pacific University in Fresno, California. Now, FPU is in their second year of membership here in the Pacific West Conference as they transition from NAIA to NCAA Division II. Now, let's go learn some more about the proud tradition of the Sunbirds. On this night in Central Cali, a raucous student body mingled with family and friends from all over Fresno jammed the Special Events Center to cheer on their nationally ranked volleyball team. The Sunbirds are recent back to back to back to back, yeah, that's four times, NAIA national champions. And on this night, their boisterous crowd led the home team to a big victory over visiting UH Hilo. Yet winning in any sport is no stranger to this quaint university. Located in one of the most beautiful parts of California, you probably haven't visited. Friends of Pacific, bringing five decades of success, now calls the Pac West home. But as we look closer, victories on the court aren't the only thing that makes FPU proud. Fresno Pacific has always had a rich tradition of really working with students holistically, so growth in all areas, academics, athletically, but also in their Christian walk and their community and leadership. And we just are continuing that excellence to this day, only we're bringing the NCAA tradition to Fresno Pacific. So there is an amping up of rules and a changing of culture, uh, but the underlying uh, commitment to excellence and being outstanding and being serving our student athletes remains. Fresno Pacific calls the Central Valley home, a place with rich history and proud residents with deep roots. You know, we have a wonderful campus, but we're located in the Central Valley, which is the richest agricultural valley in the world. And uh, even though, uh, you know, some people would, would think that, you know, it's not the, the best place to be at, I mean, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. This is home for me since I came from Mexico when I was 11 years old. Definitely. And, there's, uh, there's definitely a lot of pride in the valley. A lot of people here, uh, you know, support uh, local sports, and, and that's great for this region. We actually get, you know, a ton of local media coverage. Um, a lot more than, than you would see at, at a bigger market just because people are so involved and they really take an ownership in, you know, in being from the Valley, being from Fresno and supporting things that are, that are affiliated with Fresno. Fresno is a really neat area because you have both the agricultural community in a big city. So you can be driving along and think you're in the city and then you're all of a sudden in an orchard and the bountiful fruit and, and produce that we get here and just the rich traditions and heritage of Fresno there's lots, Fresno has lots to offer. Coaches and student athletes love the sense of place they find at Fresno Pacific. Many of them already call the Valley home and couldn't imagine being anywhere else. Well, Fresno Pacific has just been everything to me. I went to school here, I played here, I was an assistant coach here, and now I'm the head coach. And I love the people here and, uh, you know, I love the small community. You know, they just really embrace um, our team. and. Um, and I, I get to share about my faith and I get to kind of be a part of these girls' lives as they, you know, transition into adulthood, which is, you know, it's a big, important part. Probably the biggest reason I came here is because I got to stay close to family. And it's really great having them here every single game and supporting me. You know, for Hannah, she she would like to have gone away to school. There's, there's no secret to that. But when it all came down to it, she wanted to stay home. She wanted, she liked the fact her grandparents could come to the game. We could come to the game. Uh, she knew a lot of people. She, she loved the coaches here. They embraced her and brought her in and, and made her part of the team. So, I mean, that was special to her. So that's, that was her final decision to come here. Under their proud motto, founded on Christ, the Sunbirds are serious about their religious origins. And you'd be hard pressed to find anyone here who doesn't commit themselves to that higher power. For me, um, faith is important because I ended up here for a reason and every struggle through my life I've ended up going to where I need to be and having faith in God is, has got me to the point in my life where I'm, I've ended up in the place where I'm successful and I'm thriving and same for the girls on this team, God brought us all here together for a reason and it's all part of His plan. As, as we speak in, in faith circles and religious circles, you know, we're a Christian institution, liberal arts college, you know, we're the, we're the day David uh, and we oftentimes face the Goliaths, you know. Uh, it was the case when I was a player here when we used to play USF, NCAA Division I uh, national champions. Our coach was one uh, that believed that we've got to go after the, the highest level of competition and we did and we've done the same thing since I've taken over. We try to schedule a, as tough a schedule as you can. And uh, you know, because we are uh, a small private institution in the Central Valley, 
Um, many people haven't even heard of us, uh, but when, uh, when we compete on the, on the pitch, on the courts, or uh, you know, even now on the, on the pool, um, you know, we're, we're a force to be reckoned with. I think our programs are well established nationally now to where anyone that uh, wants to play us knows that they're in for a, for a good match. And so, you know, we're open to playing anyone, uh, anyone in the country, anywhere, basically, and excited to be a, uh, a part of this NCAA experience. The cozy campus with its lush greenery also boasts a vibrant student body whose commitment to athletics and academics is only rivaled by their school spirit. Basically today we're having all of student government put on a big kickoff event called our fall tailgate. And so what it is, is it's for the volleyball girls as well as intramural football as well as guys soccer. And so we're having food and different fun activities such as like popcorn and splatter painting, body painting, get all riled up for the game. Um, we're having it catered by one of our uh, members of our team. His family is being so gracious in sponsoring all of our food tonight, so we're really excited. We have just worked so hard for the last year and a half to be fully integrated into the Fresno Pacific community. So the understanding that our athletes are also students and they're full members of the community. And so they are working hard to make sure that uh, they are being good community members and supporting others on campus and they're getting the support from their campus community. So we had a great uh, tailgate and the students came out and it was for our home soccer match and our home volleyball match and as you can see we have a great crowd. Just this past summer, the Sunbirds got a brand new floor and court design, a hallmark for the program as they enter the new world of NCAA Division II. You know, we really wanted to provide an outstanding environment for our students to compete in. So we had an opportunity to redo the floor. We had a little hiccup last year with the floor. And so we had an opportunity and we created this beautiful floor. Um, we ordered new chairs for them. We're hanging new banners inside. We're just really creating a place they want to play. And then having our community, both our Fresno Pacific community and our local Fresno community come out and cheer and support them, just gives them a great home environment and home advantage. It's just a, a great process to go through to, to identify some things that we wanted to change and really de develop a strategy with where we wanted to go with the court and how we wanted to brand our university. And that's why you see all the orange around everywhere. We, we, uh, we have decided that orange is going to be, you know, our focal point and our color and we really, we really want that uh, to be the color that fans recognize as FPU and everybody in the conference recognizes as FPU because everybody just about has blue somewhere in their color scheme and so orange is a color that really pops and stands out and is just different from everybody else. Now at 13 schools in three states, the Pacific West Conference is excited to number Fresno Pacific amongst its prestigious members. Success on the field and in the classroom. We take pride in calling ourselves the Pac West.